People of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People are Elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com, and you can buy my soap at people.etsy.com. And I'm here today, hold on, let me adjust this pillow because it's driving me back, to show you an easy way to stop ribbon from fraying. This is not a new idea. But a lot of people surprisingly forget all about it, so I'm here to help out any way I can. If you have a ribbon like this, which is, it's got like velvet on it and polyester and it's gross grain, so forth and so on. Gross grain is notorious for fraying. Even if it has embellishments on it to make it all nice and pretty or whatever. So what you're going to do... And I do this when I cut it off of the roll as well as the piece I'm using. Take your lighter, just kind of tap it on the edges. Like that. And then, if necessary, tap it. That will keep your edge from fraying. If you do nothing else, now see this has already done. And you cannot see that. So your finished project will not be compromised by, oh look, there's a burn on the ribbon. But, okay, look at this. If you can see, that's already showing a little fray right there. Look at that. So, to prevent that fray from any further, if you do nothing else, tap it right here and tap it right here with the lighter. I tend to go across the whole thing, but you only have to hit the corners because that's where gross grain goes across. It loops over right here which is how I got the name gross grain, it's only really connected at the grain, so if you get it here and get it here, you will automatically prevent that fray. But just for a nice, neat appearance, hit it a couple times with your lighter, tap it, and now you have a nice, clean edge that will not fray or unravel no matter what you do to it. You go like this, put it through shoelaces or whatever, it's going to stay in one piece. In fact, I used to use a ribbon like this in my skates, and that's how I kept it from unraveling all over the place every time I decided to go skating. And that also allowed me, you know, the ability to change the color of my shoelaces and all that in my skates. It's hot in here, so forgive me. I turned the fan off, so that way it's not making a bunch of noise through the videotape. And now I'm going to melt into a puddle of goo. <laughs> but... Like for skates, for projects or whatever, this is your friend. Just very lightly tap it. You can use it for shoe strings. You can use it for whatever it is that you're doing. And it allows you the ability to change up and be innovative and give a new look to an old project. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Bye now.